What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I want to talk to you about telling your coworkers about your silver. But really quick, just in case you're new, make sure to subscribe for daily videos. Also, make sure to subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive silver content. Link will be in the description. And if you want to help support the channel by getting some DYDSS merchandise, we got t-shirts and hoodies, a bunch of gear that's raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, and of course the brand new DYDSS in-frame t-shirt, hoodie, and sticker. Any and all merch can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. But today I wanted to talk about something a little bit different. You guys know I read the comments that people leave on my videos and I always do my best to encourage people to leave comments on my videos. And a lot of times people ask me questions and I can use those questions as video topics and I can answer their questions to the best of my ability or maybe I can just respond to, you know, something that somebody says. And that's what I'm going to do in today's video. I was reading some of the comments and I got one from somebody who said that he told his coworkers about his silver and now they all think he's crazy and I thought that this would be relevant I thought that this would be a pretty good video and right off the bat my initial response is why would you tell all of your coworkers? I don't understand why a person would do that regardless of the money that you're saving I don't care if it's in silver and gold I don't care if it's dollar bills, I don't care if you got a million dollars in the bank. Why would you tell anyone, for that matter, your own personal financial business? In my opinion, that was your first mistake. The second mistake is caring about what they think, what they say, and how they feel. I'm going to be totally honest with you, this is something that I figured out several years ago. What other people think of me is none of my business. I don't care if you love me. I don't care if you hate me. Not my business what you think of me, what you say about me. If you talk behind my back, oh, that, that, that DYDSS guy, he's got silver coins and, you know, he calls it money. He's, he's crazy. You think that bothers me? What would bother me is if I had to listen to that. I don't gotta I don't gotta listen to any of those negative opinions. So I pay no attention. Well, then again, nobody really says that anyway because I don't tell people about my silver, but that's the point I want to get across. That was the biggest thing that I wanted to say is that in my opinion, I think it is an atrocious idea to tell people that you're stacking silver and gold, especially your coworkers. You know, I mean I don't know about you, but I don't have a single friend that I work with. The people that I work with are co-workers. They are not friends. I don't go to work to socialize. I go to work to make money. I trade my time for dollars, and I could trade those dollars for silver. I don't tell anybody that I work with any more than what they need to know. I personally don't think it's a good idea to be close friends with and to be to get overly personal with the people that you work with and the reason for this is because I've always felt it's a good idea to be to remain, you know, being taken seriously at work. I mean, I guess this is coming from somebody who has been in management positions for the last couple of years, so I refuse to add anybody that I work with on social media. I don't hang out with them after work. I've been invited to countless places and I always tell them, nope, sorry, I can't do it. I don't tell them, no, I refuse to hang out with people that I work with. That's not what I say, but that is what I do. I, I, I don't hang out with anybody that I work with and I don't tell anybody that I work with anything of what I have going on, especially my personal financial situation and my financial business. I don't think it's a good idea because unlike some random stranger in a grocery store, the people that you work with can probably very easily access your home address. 
it's not too far fetched for a coworker to go up to the supervisor and be like, "Hey, what's this person's address? I gotta, you know, I gotta send them a check or I gotta drop something off of them. They haven't, you know, maybe something happened and they gotta bring something to your house because you haven't been at work or whatever the case may be." I would never want somebody that I work with knowing that I have money in my house. I don't want them knowing that I have money and I don't want them knowing where they can access the money. I don't think it's a good idea, especially somebody that you work with because they know where and when you work. (laughs) They know when you're not home. They know the exact hours that you're not home. They know the exact time that you get home at night. Now, I know it might sound a little bit paranoid, but I would rather play it safe than go to work and tell everyone, hey, I got a bunch of silver coins, I got a bunch of gold bars, I put $15,000 into precious metals, and I keep it at home, where I currently am am not, I'm, I'm at work right now. I personally don't think it's a good idea, and I have made this point in previous videos, not necessarily talking about coworkers, but it sparked something in my mind and I thought that it would make for a pretty good video because, you know, the people that you work with, in my personal opinion, from my perspective, I think that's a pretty terrible idea. And not just about your financial situation and, you know, your money business and how much money you have, where you keep your money, how you save your money, how much money you save, whatever the case may be. I don't think telling your coworkers is the greatest idea. So I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know if this is something that you've talked about. Is this something that you have done? Have you made the mistake? Have you done it and you don't consider it a mistake? I'll tell you one thing. If you brought one coin, let's go with the maple leaf. And you're on the job, and you're having a conversation about, I don't know, collections. Maybe you could talk about how when you were a kid you had a baseball card collection, or how, I don't know, your crazy uncle had a bowling ball collection. I didn't just make that up. My uncle did have a bowling ball collection. And maybe you can ask them, hey, do you collect anything, you know, it doesn't have to be anything that's worth money, but anything you just find cool that you're just, you know, kind of stockpiling because you think it's interesting or whatever. And then maybe you can talk about how a family member or a friend, you know, kind of got you into a coin collection. If you want to talk about it, you know, some people, they can't help themselves. They just feel the need. It's like a hamster on a wheel all day long. They're just thinking about silver. They need to talk about silver for whatever reason. So if you're one of those people, maybe you can bring it up that way. Maybe you can be like, oh, I don't know, I got like six or seven coins. You don't have to throw out all your business like that. Be like, yeah, I got thousands of dollars worth of silver and gold. Maybe you could just say, I got a couple coins, three, four, five, six, seven, eight coins. My friend kind of got me into it. I don't really take it all that seriously, but I think it's pretty cool. Maybe that's one way you can share with your coworkers or your friends or your family members or some stranger in a grocery store. If you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you guys like me, make sure to subscribe for new videos every single day, 365 days a year. Also, make sure to subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive precious metal content. Just posted three new silver and gold themed vlog style videos, a hidden camera pawn shop integrity test, and a product review. And I got a brand new video titled Getting Rich in Monopoly coming out this Sunday. Link will be in the description. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. We got t-shirts and hoodies, a bunch of gear that's raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, and of course the brand new DYDSS in-frame t-shirt, hoodie, and sticker. Any and all merch can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance. It's more than appreciated. And don't forget, everything in the DYDSS store is 15% off for only a few more days. Get some discounted merchandise to help support the channel while you can. Link in the description. And I want you guys to let me know in the comments... What are your thoughts on everything that I shared in today's video? Do you think it's a terrible idea to tell your coworkers about your silver? Do you think maybe it's not a good idea, but it's not necessarily a bad idea? Let me know your opinions and whether or not you've ever shared with your coworkers. I know you spend probably 
more time with your coworkers than you do anyone else, so those are probably the people that are easiest to talk to. So I understand why you would want to, but I don't think it's that great of an idea. Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you just stop smiling. Peace.